Test one two three one two three. Hello, this is Dr. Heath Van Horn. I am here to quickly go over IPv6 uh, in the lab 18. So as you can see here, I've already labeled uh, the various interfaces. So you can see here that I have put the subnet here, followed by this port is one, this port is two, and so forth. Part of this network is already working, so you are going to join me while I get the rest of the network working. All right, so let's begin by checking where it left off at before dinner. Uh, okay, so I have port serial port 001 uh, set up with an IPv6 address. All right, so what we need to do to connect to the other side is to get the other address in there. So let's look at yellow. And we go to the CLI. And before we can start doing IPv6, uh, we need to give it the command to allow IPv6. So that's simply IPv6 unicast routing. All right, so now it is ready for IPv6 configurations. And we can do all our interfaces from right here. So let's interface first with serial port 001. Okay, and then we want to set up an IPv6 address. So we just simply say IPv6 address. And we'll do 4003. Sixty-four, and then we say no shut and we can see that the state has changed to up all right so from there we can do interface with FA uh, zero zero and we do the same thing IPv6 address this time it'll be 2002 and we'll do 1 and then we do no shut nothing is going to happen um, with that one because uh, we don't have a cable plugged in yet we're just getting all the interfaces configured at this time all right so on this one what we're going to do is interface with serial port 010 and we're going to set IPv6 address to 4002 1 forward slash 64 no shut oh and that one came up so I must have got that other one done too at the same time all right, so that is configured. So we, oh, nice, up. So that means uh, we now have connectivity between all the routers. Um, and so now what we need to do is get connectivity to our PC. And because we're not using a switch, we want to use a crossover cable here. So we'll just plug it into here, plug it into there and we go to desktop IP configuration and since we're not messing with IPv4 we can just go switch to automatic and you can see right here FFFE is where the uh, automatic IP address generator inserted the indicator for um, IPv4 and that's IPv4 here okay and you can also notice that we didn't have to do any DHCP. You don't have to do DHCP with IPv6 because it uses the port's MAC address. 
or the interface's MAC address. So um, that works out pretty good. Okay. If we want to see if it talks to our router, we can't use the envelopes. Okay, we can't use the automatic PDUs or the simplified PDUs. Um, you actually have to ping manually. So we just close here and we already know what this IP address is so we'll go back to here terminal and so we'll just do a ping to 2002 1 and we can see that the ping is successful if we wanted to do the other direction though it's going to be a little trickier because remember this IP address was generated so we don't have a label for that uh, the easiest way to do this is to do this and keep this on top and then we go to here and we do exit and we just do a ping and then we have to use the IPv6 address not the local address just the regular address, the IPv6 address. So if you notice, it uses 2002, which is our subnet name. And then we type in uh, the remaining part of the address. So 260, notice the emission of the leading zero, 2FFF, FE, for delta 85 delta 1 okay oh you can't ping while in uh, configure mode And you can see that uh, the ping works successfully. Okay, so now that we have all our pieces of equipment talking to each other, what we need to do is set up the static routes. And the static routes is exactly the same as when we set up static routes for IPv4. So we go into the blue router. And we set up a static route using IPv6, uh, which is really pretty simple. IPv6 route, and we use uh, we put in the destination um, subnet. So we use IPv route 2002 colon colon forward slash 64 which means every packet that needs to go to that subnet and then we put in the next hop and the next hop is 4003 colon colon 2 okay and that was accepted now we have to do the other side oh the other side I did earlier so that one's fine alright we'll do the same thing with red So we want to do IPv6 route 2002 forward slash 64 via the port 40021. Okay, so that was accepted. And then course otherwise we otherwise it'll only ping in one direction we got to configure the yellow router um, for both the red and uh, blue networks all right so again we do IPv6 route 
and we want routes to 2003, 1, 64. We want it to go to everything, not just that one port. And then the next hop is 4003, uh, 1. That one worked. So we want to do IPv6 route 2001 colon colon 64. And we're going by 40022. That's it. Okay. All right. So now we should be able to ping from here and we're gonna open that one up and keep on top and then we're gonna open up five and we're gonna try to ping to it so what we'll do is we'll ping FE or sorry 2002 Two six zero. Again, notice the the leading zero has been uh, deleted. Two F F F F E four D eight five D one. And we have a hundred percent connectivity. Everything is pinging. Um, if you want to do this and you want to see the packets, you can't use a simplified PDU. That's what this is. So you can go to simulator and open. You can do show none. Edit filters. Go to IPv6 and see. Um, there we go. ICMP6. Uh, and then you can go to open up the other window and if you hit enter you will see that now you will see a packet and you can hit next and you can see the packet move across the network alright there's one other thing I want to show you actually there's two things I want to show you IPv6 uh, because it is assigned to an interface, um, you can do some crazy things. All right, so if we look at yellow here, let's look at uh, serial 001. You can see that has an IP address of 4003 colon colon 264. All right, so we know that that is there. Right, 4003 colon to uh, 64. Okay, so we are identifying this one. We can go in here and actually configure that port with multiple IPv6 addresses. So we go in there. interface SE001 and we do uh, we assign an IPv6 address of oh well, let's just make one up about 8881 okay all right, so that uh, is has taken. So now, when we look at it, when we highlight over here, we can see that our network is that 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 serial port now has two IP addresses attached to it. So you have to be careful when you're typing this stuff in, because if you fat finger it, um, like IPv4, you would just put in a new address and it would copy over it in IPv6 because you can have multiple addresses uh, replacing an IPv6 address 
uh, you actually have to type the no command. So that's what we'll do here. And you type in and you have to be exact okay and now you'll see that that IPv6 address is gone so overwriting an IPv6 address is not as simple as it was in IPv4 all right that is the lab down and dirty you should be able to duplicate this with minimal uh, difficulty if you have any questions I am available and I wish you a good day. Thank you very much.